And then, oh my god, right, Kalidus is just hanging out there with that little skull over his face and, like, cat whiskers. <laughs> right? Just full-on bone and then little whiskers. Yep. Okay, so, hi. How's uh, it going? It's it's going all right. How are you doing? I'm good. Okay, cool. Well, so my, my other plan is, uh, at some point, to do a bunch of oath drafts, but, but, there's a full Kamigawa block draft format available for the next, like, I don't know, four days, five days? Yeah. So I'm going to do that. I love me some Kamigawa, even if it's bad Kamigawa. I mean, it's, it's, it's where we, it's where we started. Exactly. <laughs> This format is familiar to both of us. Uh, hello to everybody from the Midnight Crew. Midnight Crew, <laughs> you, know, you know, Midnight Crew is not a usual, like, my usual time's like 7 to 10 CST. Like, you know, every, that's sort of the, the time. But so, hello to the Midnight Crew. Uh, I did not FNM. I spent the last five hours watching uh, House of Cards. FNM was not a draft this week. FNM was like modern, and I don't want to play. Hello, gnome, you're here. Sweet. So, I'm really yeah. surprised that there's like already six people in uh, like midnight Kamigawa draft. What doesn't surprise me is that nobody else is coming in. <laughs> well, yeah, fair. Is this a solo thing? Can you not hear Mike? Uh, hello. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, okay. No. There, it's fixed. Okay, cool. People can now hear Mike. I was about to just, like, murder Skype, so... We got this. We See, the thing is that there were, like, so there's six people in here, but... We have to wait forever for the last. Yeah, it'll still be a 20-minute wait. <laughs> so, um... Oh, Kevin is going <laughs> to ignore me. <laughs> so, saviors. Saviors. Um, there, there are some good cards. There are. There are a number of cards I like in saviors if you're drafting Elder Pine and Jukai. And then... There are other cards I... There's a whole mechanic that's dumb, but we'll see that. I mean, people will probably tell me I'm wrong, but I would still much rather play this format than anything to do with World Wake. Here's the thing. The thing with, the, the thing with Kamigawa is that Kamigawa is a really cool set when you're playing with Kamigawa and only Kamigawa. Yeah, it was a good block. It just doesn't play well with others. So, like, the, in the draft format, it's cool. In the not draft format, it's not cool. It's alright in Elder. Yeah. <laughs> old, it's true. Elder, <laughs> Elder has a ton of cards that you played in here. I want to say I, I saw... I want to say it was, like, a, a Zorak screenshot. Of like, he, he did a draft uh, of this format earlier this week that had his top end as Kakusho Mirjin of Night's Reach. And that's the most EDH top end I've ever heard of. <laughs> oh nope uh that is not cabana that is mike yeah burn it put it in there i'm normally a furry gopher in the chat yep <laughs> but yeah then rend flesh owns outside of the draft because right it, it literally just says destroy target creature that isn't named ghost council of arzova <laughs> <laughs> I, I just, yeah, it's so much better than destroy target non-black. <laughs> All right. All right, let's get our jit and move on. Well, in pack one, we don't get that. So in pack one, we have our choice of Knight of Souls Betrayal, which is mm. all creatures, including yours, get minus one, minus one. We have Initiate of Blood. Uh, you like some blood. Which is a four mana 2-2. Two -two. We have another four mana 2-2. Two -two. Um, the cards I like in here, oh, four mana, one, one. <laughs> a honk you is, is not bad. Cage of Hands is like a legit card. Yeah, Cage of Hands and Thief of Hope are the two I am looking at. Um, I, 
Thief of Hope could be really silly. Right. I think both of them could be very silly. <laughs> yeah, Stone Rain pick one, not happening. So yeah, like, we can either put them in the, the cage of hands, where we just like, aha, a bunch of hands surround you, and talk to the hands. Uh, Thief of Hope. Um, I kind of like the Thief of Hope plan. Kind of like the Thief of Hope plan? Yeah, that could be fun. Sure. We've done white, I think, a couple times, and black has been a bit neglected. And I like yeah. black a little more out of the... A little bit out of the last set. Also, we get Hideous Frickin' Laughter as our second pick. Or, oh, well, or, hell yeah. Or Glacial Ray. Those are good cards. <laughs> yeah. Or Blind with Anger. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> I mean, Hideous Laughter is like the card, but... Yeah, Hideous Laughter has a... <laughs> it's about as close as we're going to get to Wrath of the Mind Blaze. Blaze. Yeah, to me, this is Hideous Laughter versus Glacial Ray, and and also, like, there's a couple other cards that, like, you know, Blind with Anger also owns. It's, a, it's like an arcane threaten. Um... Mm. I, I mostly like Hideous Laughter here because it's just as good as any of those other cards, but it doesn't make us go into another color. Oh, yeah, yeah. so they don't reverse the draft order on these because that would kind of break the how the format is supposed to be anyway. Oh, yeah. Like, they don't make us do Saviors first because that would be horrid. Imagine <laughs> opening Saviors first. Oh, my God. <laughs> Help. <laughs> That'd be the worst. All right, so we do want to find some two mana spirits for Thief of Hope or whatever. Yeah. Um, how about Ren Spirit or Nizumi Ronin? Um, um, Ren Spirit could be okay. I mean, Ren Spirit honestly, almost like, always every has... time we've had Ren Flesh, we've always wanted to have Ren Spirit most of the time. Well. Every color has targets for this. It's not like there's specific colors that don't have spirits. There are right. colors that are slightly more focused towards them, but there aren't colors that don't have any. Um, Straight up lure. Yeah, literal lure. <laughs> Hair strung Koto, which uh, I remember playing in a dumb deck that I built the first time I started playing that involved a bunch of rats. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that seems so silly it basically didn't make it. any sense because you'd have like 40 rats and mill their entire deck or you could just attack right I kind of want to like deal damage I kind of want to throw like one X of that in my like uh, tokens EDH deck oh god oh, hey candles <laughs> candles glow um pull under a 5 mana 2 1 mm -hmm, got mm -hmm. it uh, there is a Zubra. There's a Zubra. It's not a terrible Zubra. I mean, I guess there really isn't like a bad Zubra. Right. Hmm. There's Mind Rot. There's Mind Rot. It's Arcane. It is Arcane. <laughs> you get to be Arcane. I mean, Basically, like, a... do I do I want Dripping Tongue Zubra? I'm okay with it. Honestly, this pack is kind of lackluster. Like, like can we met my candles glow? Yeah, yeah. Candles glow isn't even like good and not the thing. Pull under is an arcane shitty kill spell. I don't like it. It's a shitty kill spell. It does its job. It's a if shitty I'm kill spell. Six mana. It should just kill the thing. I know. I mean, to be fair, there's quite a bit of regen in here, so the minus five, minus five actually matters. But... Oh man, scuttling death still hanging out in this pack. Scuttling Death is pretty sick. So Scuttling Death actually is a lot worse than it used to be, but it's still probably just fine, and I'm willing to pick it. I want to go in and black. Stack. Without, damage on the stack made this card like a real ass card in 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 limited. Um, it was incredibly good. Uh, other cards in here. I don't know. How about how about six mana three three? Like this is this is the shit that Kamigawa was known for, by the way. Yeah. Because there's there's not just one of these cards, there's a thousand. Yeah, there really is. Yeah, so uh. Scuttling Death's real power back in the day used to be damage on the stack to get like a three for one. Right, and which is pretty really awesome. Good. Like, right now, it's still like not bad because it's got Soul Shift, it's Spirit for other thing, and it's got decent power. 
I'm How about also, more scuttling death? Yeah, so, yeah. I was gonna say I'm fine picking more scuttling death. Uh, Sachi is still here, which maybe means I want to pick that up, but I kind of like more scuttling death. I realized yeah. that there was another Kami of Ancient Law that passed by. I'm I'm keeping an eye on that sort of thing, but Kami of Ancient Law is is a bear. That's not like a ah oh, bam. Let's go ahead and play white like Grizzly Bear ain't enough for that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like the Zubra is sitting in the deck, but this doesn't mean we're green. Let me put it that way. Right. It's, it's <laughs> honestly, if, if it was up to me, like we just go straight mono black. And <laughs> if I mean, it could be. Uh, I like having two colors because, it, like, look, there's a lot of bad cards in a lot of these packs. When you're in two colors, you get to pick slightly more of the the ones that are worthwhile. It's a spirit. It goes with the Thief of Hope plan. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Also, just, it's a Mia Jin. I could just pick the Zubra, too. Or Hearth could Kami. just pick the Zubra. But it's like, all right, it's, I think that that Zubra is probably my least favorite. Yeah, it's not a good one. I don't know. I'm, I mostly like dislike Life Gen in most situations. Right. Um, I mean, that's like... On the off chance somebody gets jit, we need something like that. Also, Teller of Tales. I'm actually going to pick Teller of Tales because I think it's the best card in the pack. Okay. Hey, Black Zubra. Black Zubra. Also, goodbye, Damp and Thought. <laughs> also, a second Hearth, hearth Kami. I think the black zebra is probably the best one. Uh, the blue one says draw a card on it. Okay, all right. Then it's the black one. <laughs> yeah. Um, I picked a Teller of Tales because not only do I like... Uh, Soul Shift lets you return a, a spirit of CMC four or less. Spirit specifically. Yep. Yeah, so the Zubras are... Let us, like, you know, do that sort of recursion. So, um... Well, I could pick up the Cursed Ronin. Honestly, I mean, actually, if we end up being like super heavy black, Cursed Ronin would be pretty solid. Or maybe even Hankyu. Hankyu's not bad. Yeah, cause, like, if we are heavy black, Cursed Ronin ain't bad either, you're right. Like, it is a shade. It's four mana for a shade, but... I mean, yeah, usually a four mana shades are at least two twos, which I guess technically <sighs> he is. He's so bad. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up the honk you to show off this card. It's a it's it's a useful one. Uh blaze it. I'm gonna grab the rain shaper because it's a flyer. Okay. I'm I'm cool with our like second color just being flyers <laughs> if we end up going blue. Yep. Blue like... is looking fairly open. Well take a look at the cards and then Okay, well, there's, there's like, reach through the mist, peer through the depths, huh? Uh, I'm not even taking that. <laughs> okay, so this is, like, the pile of junk that I don't like. We don't really have a second color immediately. Like, there's a couple blue cards in here that are okay. Teller of Ta like, Teller of Tales is actually quite good. Um, but, like, River Kajin and Sortami Rain Shaper are both acceptable. Pier 3 Depths is not. Um, so, at this point, like, black is the color I know that I'm in because all six of those black cards are real. Right. Um, so, it's the last pack that, that Jit's in, right? No, it's in pack two. Pack two? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, well, we'll get one of those in like three seconds then. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody having difficulty picking their their bad Kamigawa card. Uh, I was check. I was checking if there was a disconnect. There was. None. Oh, okay. Twisted allegiance. That's a lot of text. <laughs> Hey, a Hirobi. <laughs> I was just to say, I saw Hirobi's whisper and just decided, well, fuck it. <laughs> like, come on. Oh, by the way, one of the other things about this this block is that there's a thousand giant growths. There's at yeah. least a thousand of them. Basically, if there's green mana open, they have at least six different giant growths they could have. Um, Hirobi's whisper, by the way, is like, 
a hell of an arcane spell. Yeah. <laughs> like, that is a arcane spell I want to have. Like, if I, if I go Hideous Laughter, Splice Hirobi's Whisper, I feel like a winner. But, yeah, so by the way, Twisted Allegiance, Sorcery, uh, both players swap creatures. Oh. Well, I guess they could have the six mana 2-2 two, two then. Well, really, it's if I'm losing horribly, I just win instead. <laughs> that is that is true. Like, which I, you know, I'd like it, but the Torobi's Whisper is, like, the one of the most actual powerful cards. Right. At, uh, also, ch check out the creature that Kamigawa is known for, a six mana 2-2. Two, two. Yeah. It's got Back. fear, though, so... Mm -hmm. Or, or, or uh, I didn't get to... Ooh. Oh, I guess we're in green. You and Mori the freaking open fist. Yo. So... Also, there's a ninja of deep hours if I want to go that way. Also, overblaze. Also, like, <laughs> blazing it. Um, man, Is, he was... was... Was there, like, a foil rare in here or something? He might not have been in green. Uh... I mean, we're not in green. <laughs> yeah, I know. We easily <laughs> could be. Um, that is a 4-mana four, 5-5 five, five with when it comes into play, each opponent can drop a legend. It's pretty sick. We need to find another legend. Let's find, yeah. like, a Kakusho. Can't. That's in pack one. Oh. Um, also Torrent of Stone is a really good card in here. Ninja of the Deep Hours is a really good card in here. Like, I love Ninja of Deep Hours. Ninja of the Deep Hours is incredibly good, but I want to see some of the black ninjas, like the one that's like destroy, like kill a creature. <laughs> <laughs> you know, anyway, I'm going to pick Iwamori because that's powerful enough for me to try. I also would love Badoka Pupil. Uh, it has like a, I mean... it has like giant growths on the backside. Uh, who's going to have Legends? Everybody. Every single opponent is going to have Legends, except for this card is, like, way better than all of them, so... Um, Soul Shift. Ooh. That's pretty nice. That's actually, like, fine for our deck, and honestly, 5-mana 4-4 four four in this set is not bad in the least. Right. 4-4 four four is a bit of a huge body. Um, there's also, like, Takunuma Bleed... Takunuma Bleeder, sorry. Um... What else do we have that's good? Oh, Shimmering Glass Kite. Blue has some pretty good things. I'm going to pick this. So I'm going to go ahead and admit that this is what I'm doing. Yeah, I, I think that's, that's fine. I don't even know if a lure is going to make a goddamn deck because in pack three there's a better lure. <laughs> like, it's just better in every way. Like, not every way, but it, in my mind, Sheen of Life's Roar is better in, like, about a thousand ways. So... Anyway, is uh is Uomori is, is human. He human spirit human monk? Okay, I can I can dream. Uomori is a kung fu master who who knows how to punch. Uh, flames of the freaking blood hand, huh? Look at that. Also, That's some sweet art. Uh, yeah, I know. Fl so this was a hell of a this was a constructed card for a long time. Uh, by the way, there's nothing in this pack for us because welcome to the the set. We get five mana two ones with basically no text. Um, or... I guess there's like a Baku. That Baku. Check out what that Baku does. It's mana fixing. If you cast if I or arcane spells. If I play a squire in my deck. <laughs> Okay, we could take Tarashi's Grasp. <laughs> I, mean, I guess six mana four four could be worse. I'm going to take the creature that is the least offensive to me out of everything in here. <laughs> it, everything in here is pretty goddamn offensive, but this is the least offensive. Um, wow. Again, check out this set. Uh there's a child of thorns i think it's child of thorns we have a lot of we have a lot of spell sh soul shift so like child of thorns might get recurred a lot and we, right and we do it's have not... and yeah, and it does trigger thief of hope and it like is an onboard combat trick like it does things i've definitely played worse one drops yeah onboard combat trick um but yeah, again, checking out the power level of cards in here we get things like vital surge <laughs> I or I didn't even show you Mark uh, whenever you deal damage to a player gain that much mana for the turn got it 
Uh, yeah, they value Soul, Soul Shift incredibly highly, um, which is pretty funny, because uh, it's not that good. Um, I guess the card's playable? It can blow up a ninja. <laughs> That's probably actually useful. What does it say about this pack that the one mana one one with maybe some text <laughs> is the best card in it? That's like the fourth crawling filth we've seen. Yeah, I'm not picking them and they're gonna table because that card <laughs> is garbage. <laughs> Splinter is a cool card because it's involved in a like six card combo that lets you put a sorcery into play. <laughs> into play. Into play. Into play. Except for that there's a rule that says sorceries can't go into play. But if that rule didn't exist, it would work just fine. So how do you like, uh, I don't know, like... Seven mana seven, three, three threes. Three. Uh, how about one mana one one, one mana one one, or one mana one one? Uh, if you didn't notice, this is a cycle with Kamiya False Hope and uh, the blue one that taps and untaps a creature... Oh, I'm picking child. It's probably Child of Thorns, yeah. Let's just keep picking Child of Thorns. It's awful. I'm just going to run you down. Frostling was like a bad Mog Fanatic. This card saw some play in, yep. in standard. Yeah, um, instead of the creature and player, it's, this is just creature. Yeah, it's it's worse in basically every way. Except Ex that it's a spirit. Except that it's a spirit, which is, means it's worse in every way. Because, because it's not a goblin. Well, because <laughs> goblin's just a better creature type. Um. Hey. He said Kamigawa doesn't play with it. Hey, wow, that's like a legit card. Legit creatures. Thank you. Also, like Mistblade Shinobi is still hanging out when there were no blue cards in the last couple packs. But Mistblade Shinobi is cool because when it hits once, it does the bounce, and then it never works again. <laughs> Got him. Because you're literally never going to hit them with this one one. I uh, also like to point out that we haven't seen black in a while. That's fine. Uh, that I mean, means we got the black cards we needed. So. Well, th that's fine because that means black is cut off from that side, but we're swapping sides when we in pack three, right. so we'll be passing to the person. Yeah, heck, gnarled mass is basically that effect anyway. By the way, here's the other two: Kami of False Hope and Teardrop Kami. Those are the yep. Others do in the we, cycle. Do we even have demons? Uh, no, but this works for one turn. Oh. Fair. Except okay. for it doesn't give it taste. It gets something out of the way. I so I, I actually play this card in my Vishkal EDH deck. Okay. So because it's a one turn steal and Vishkal has sacrifice a creature to do things. Okay. So you steal their guy and sacrifice it. Also it costs three mana. So Sun Titan just keeps buying it back forever. By the way, we're just gonna keep picking travel. <laughs> Good card. God. It's basically the only card in our deck. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I found it. I found the card. <laughs> this is our deck now. This is where we live now. The Child of Thorns oh, deck. We got we got a crawling fill. Sweet. So I can nope. discard. I can pay two, discard a Child of Thorns to make this three man artifact into a one one. <laughs> hey, we got Splinter. We tabled it. Don't. Oh. <laughs> I'm stealing the like. Look, that's a five mana three three with some text. That's AK like. AK, that should be like a rare. AK tap bounce a token. That's actually the text on it. Is bounce a token. Also, Can check you please out. Remove that crawling build from our deck. No. Um, God damn it. <laughs> check out Kumano's blessing. Uh, Get wrecked. Uh huh. Anyway, on to pack three. <laughs> so check out Pure Intentions, which is my rare. Um, Okay, so you just, like, don't discard? Mm-hmm. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> it doesn't do anything. <laughs> okay, so more relevantly, we have Death Denied, which I thought was in Betrayers, but it's actually in Saviors. Um, we have a really terrible she Sheenan. Uh, Promise Kanushi, which is the only Soul Shift card that does Soul Shift higher than its mana cost, and it's basically Soul Shift anything. <laughs> Um, it's actually really solid on a 1-1. One, one. Okina Nightwatch, which is the worst mechanic in this set and the reason I hate saviors. <laughs> um, Charge across the Rabo, which says win the game. This is a pretty good 5-mana win the game card. Alright, alright. Um, a 5-mana 3-3 three, three that regenerates. I, I actually kind of like the Stampeding Sarrow here. I've been avoiding mentioning it because it's kind of my pick. 
Um, Only because we have four Child of Thorns. <laughs> yeah, and also, like, bouncing Child of Thorns or Dripping Tongue Zubra when I have Thief open play isn't actually bad. Um, Combo! Yeah, it's pretty big. <laughs> Whew, okay, so check out these cool cards in here that are really good for us. We've got Manriki Gusari, uh, a good equipment. Noted yes. good equipment. Noted good equipment. Razor Draw Oni. Uh, black our our can't dudes block. can't black, any block anymore. All right. Uh, Kagamaro's Clutch, a.k.a. a removal spell. Ooh. Which might be the pick based on that. Uh, Intercalm Outer Strength, a.k.a. a pump spell. Hey. Yeah. I think removal is something I don't have enough of yet, so Kagamaro. Yeah, we've got like Hirobi's Whisper and Ren's Spear, and that's about it. I will take another piece of removal. That's especially with because Kagamaro's Clutch. In if I can find a copy or two of Elder Pine of Ju Jukai, uh, this card's actually fine. This is a. Uh, I guess in the way forever. Yeah, this is this is a uh, this is a skeleton. And it's like I guess mostly a bear. Yeah, so. Yes, uh, X X changes when number of cards in your hand change. Basically, it says destroy target creature, though. Let's, it's like minus four, minus four, minus five, minus five. We do need a copy of... Uh... Wow. All right, check this out. Eternal Dominion. Oh, man. Is this in your Steely deck? I don't know if it is. I don't think it, it is. is. It oh. is. Oh, it is. Okay. We do need an Elder Pine of Jukai for our deck to still function, but... Uh, epic. epic epic basically epic was their way of trying to make uh sorceries and instants that were legendary they actually like that was where it started but anyway hey it's like good lure uh there's that yes yeah, so sheen is a life's roar by the way that's the card i kind of want um, we don't have enough pump to make it great, but it's a squire I like a lot. The lure on it's really good. There's also, like, Death Denied and Kimuri Ona. Kimuri Ona is, like, generally fine. You get to cast it all the time. Yeah. And I do kind of want a copy of Death Denied, but Sheenan of Life's Roar is a card I want. Okay, so I need an Elder Pine. No Elder Pine in here. Ooh, Skull Collecting. Oh, man. Oh, never mind. I, was, I think I might have to pass up on Skull Collect collection so skull collection gonna point out skull collector um this is a pretty dang good card because yeah you know. it's three mana three three that regenerates in this set so yeah like incredibly so presence of the wise is a reprint of gerard's wisdom is actually a good card um a borrow envoy was misprinted when a borrow envoy was printed it was missing the until end of turn on there Oh. <laughs> uh, so it just gave minus X. And that's, that's pretty good. Spiraling Embers is a really good uh, kill spell. Um, I kind of so want... When you un unselected Skull Collector first, I thought you went to the... You gained six life draw card, and I was so confused. Why are we picking the Grey Ogre? Because it's a... Because it's a... A 4-3 th with fear. I like those ones a lot. Hey, another kill spell. Everyone seems to be talking about a thing I don't understand, so I'm just ignoring it. So, by the way, here's the other card that I like. Uh, that's the, that is like that. Basically, if you have seven or more cards in hand, it becomes unbeatable. And right. You, you just win, and that's how the card functions. Death Mask and Nizumi works exactly the same way. It becomes a five-turn clock. Um, so Which is the... a lot better when that clock has sphere. Yeah. Uh, well, first strike is just as good, basically. Um, the Natsuke is like a card that saw play in standard for like two days um, <laughs> in a specific deck. I'm picking more removal because I don't think. Ka I think Kagemaro's Clutch is pretty dang powerful. In this set, I would agree. I, I mean, like. <laughs> It's like minus three or minus four, so it's like a, a flatten, and that's a card I'm willing to play. Oh boy, measure of freaking wickedness. Okay, so measure of freaking <laughs> wickedness. Uh, this this is a card that they wanted you to do like shenanigans with in order to get it to your opponent. They really oh. were selling this one really high when the set came out. I remember that. Um, 
We can just take another death match. Raving Slave Oni that says when it comes into play or leaves play, you lose three life. It's not terrible. I mean, you've probably taken six, but... I don't know what MTGPQ means. Like, I don't... Under I do not understand what people are talking about. And, yeah, whatever. I'm... Um... Yeah, we, we can just fill yeah. up on death masks. I will take more of those. Um... We can take our Skull Collector. We could take a Skull Collector now. We have more black creatures, so I'd feel okay with it. The problem with the first Skull Collector was that I, like, I don't actually knew if we had enough black creatures for it. We could play Sink into Takanuma, which sometimes just wins you the game and sometimes loses you the game because you bounced every single land you control, you moron. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. Sink of ta into Takanuma seems like it could be fun. Yeah, I mean, you just bounce all your swamps and then... Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick up the Skull Collector. It's a 3-3. Three, yeah. three. It's fine. It's a 3-3. Three, three. Ah, okay. Thank you for somebody saying the goddamn <laughs> name of the thing you're talking about. <laughs> Holy hell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pick Sink and talk a Numa here. Uh, yeah, all right, we get one this time. This is like the fourth Spiraling Embers, which is a card that does a lot. This is a card that should be fine. It's like, you basically, like, it's like a discard three or four, and then you get seven cards in your hand again. I mean, we've got a fairly low curve that I'm willing to play that. Yeah, basically, especially because we're not actually playing those, you know, sixes or whatever. <laughs> Spiritual Visit, be a cool card, I think, like, as far as an arcane card goes. Yeah. Thank you. Death denied. That was a card I wanted to have one of. Exactly one and basically no more. This just says, like, pick up 20 cards at the end of the game. It's like your top deck and you're like, alright, I'll just X equals 7. Wow. That's... Yeah. I thought that that said, like, was, like, converted mana cost nah. and, like, was one of. <laughs> nah, that's <laughs> called... Like, this is, like, good. No, that card was in the last set. Oh. Literally the exact text you're thinking. It was in the last set. Uh, Curtain of Light is also like a nifty card. It's just like a fake blocker that shows up. All right, it's pretty sweet. Uh, I guess we get a Kuro's Tanken. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Yeah, I don't want Sakura Tribe Scout. So we're like spirit rats. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take Rending Vines. Rending Vines is actually a fine card if it's t targets. We have an owl measure. Are we going to give it to our opponent? Make them lose a life? I, I mean, it only moves if you if a, another card goes to your grave, so you have to have, like, a Child of Thorns to sacrifice mm -hmm. to move it. <laughs> we did not get any Elder Pines, which means, like, our deck is actually secretly bad. Elder I don't think that's much of a secret. <laughs> Elder Pine of Jukai is, like, the most powerful goddamn card. I love it. It is so good. <laughs> Somebody picked that epic spell. Alright, so, um, we got cuts to make. Well, two of them are our six drops. Yeah, that's fine. What if we want crawling filth? Uh, measure of wickedness, sure. Rending vines is a sideboard card against the person with Jeet. That's why I picked it. Fair. That's literally the reason I picked it. Um, so what, four more draw or five more? Uh, Death Mill Kami, can, excuse me, can I please have my... There we go. Alright, have that out. I'm going to take the Shadow Watcher out, and it'll just come in if we're against a color that has those. Um, three more drops. Yeah. I mean, probably at least one Child of Thorns. <laughs> I, mean, I don't think we need a play you, set. You sure we don't need four of those? <laughs> I mean, I kind of want to have them all in there just so we can play like four Child of Thorns and feel really cool because mm -hmm. then we can just be like, I'm going to attack you. Oh, whatever one got through is going to hit you for four. <laughs> all right. I actually want to group creatures separately. How bad is... I was just checking out the Skull Collector, how bad that is. Fair. Did I not... Uh, where's our skull collector? Why is, oh, there it is. Wrong one. I cut Death Nokami. Mm -hmm. It should not have been Death Nokami. Kuro's mm -hmm. Taken is better. 
card actually functions. <sighs> it means you do it twice. That is correct, Berlin Walrus. Uh, it means I get to pick up two spirits of four cost or less, aka like Gnarled Mass and Thief of Hope or something like that. Uh... Basically, I don't think any of our cuts are black, or the instants and sorceries and things. Yeah, I don't think so either. So what, like two Child of the Thorns? Yeah, probably. As much as I like him. So, what's the text on Skull Collector? Bounce a black creature. Are we really going to want to do that with our dudes? I feel like it's just going to put us further behind. Well, you have Stampeding Sarah that does the same thing with green creatures, but it's also, like, huge. Yeah, that thing's massive. And we have, like, more early green creatures. Like, I don't feel bad about bouncing Child of Thorns. Also, we have Kuros as far as, this, like, a regenerating blocker. Yeah. So that's not something we need. Um, I kind of want a third child of thorns in our deck. Was thinking the same thing. I just don't know what I don't want. The only thing I can think of is Hanaku, Hanaku, and I don't think that's what we want to do. No, I don't think so either. We got you and Mori, we got... I don't think there's anything I want to cut to put in the Trial of the Thorns is the problem. Yeah. <clears throat> we can just leave it at two. Yeah. Anyway, let's the more go. I think about it, though, like, I, I think this deck is fine the way it is, but the more I think about it, the Skull Collector wouldn't be terrible just to turn on um, our uh, Death Masks. Yeah, but we'd been bouncing them. Yeah. They're like two <laughs> of our six black creatures. <laughs> anyway, this is a 10 7, I think. Thing. Yeah, actually, 9 8 because of the green requirements. Ugh, that's annoying. It probably is right, though. I think it'll be fine. Yeah. There's no fixing, and the, there's no lands that fix, let me rephrase, in this in this block. And also, not having, again, not having Elder Pine or Jukai is really, I, I'm not a fan. Uh... Alright, let's just roll with it. It'll be fine. I mean, everybody else is in the same situation. Likely, except for we have, like, okay, removal. And we have some, like, somewhat efficient creatures. That Squire doesn't fix. That Squire's, yeah. like, awful. Yeah, you need to have, like, played the cards before you can <laughs> fix. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, Iwamori. Iwamori's going to kill us at least once. We're going to play it and, like, Kakusho will come out. Oh. Do we even have any other legends? No. <laughs> Literally just you and Mori. Which I'm happy with. We have our legend count. We could have had a... Uh, we could have had a... Uh, Knight's Reach, but I picked the Teller of Tales because blue... Well, like that, I, that is a more powerful mm -hmm. card. And... I wanted to hedge against the two colors, and then we opened a green rare, so, you know, moved into green, which I, I like better because uh, the thing about green in this set is that it ha I mean, Savior's Green has two of my favorite green cards. We just don't have one of them. Goodbye. Goodbye. Also playing green, we're able to, I think we're able to play mind games a lot more with how many pump spells are in this format. Which, none of which we have. No, you know, we don't have a single one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, would you like to play first? Yeah, sure. But they uh, don't know that. Hey, that's like 
mana and like a dude that's probably going to be a 4-3. Okay, so here's the trick about uh, this format uh, and these cards. Um, I want to stop. You play land afterwards. <laughs> no, um, being on the play sucks. Oh, yeah, just, just forever. Because it, it, it never functions. That's the dirt. That's the dark secret about this. About it is that like you basically, if you're on the play with that, you you can never get ahead enough. Right. Um. Just throw I could up. I could try. <laughs> we could not play something next turn. I'm gonna play it and see what happens. I think we might be able to get ahead with the the forked uh, the double soul, soul shift there. Yeah. It's, it's possible. <laughs> oh boy, Kodama's reach. Well, Opponent, our opponent's ahead. <laughs> opponent's playing good cards. They get to be at seven cards. <laughs> yeah. How about we just don't care and we run our opponent down? Oh, <laughs> you do not agree. <laughs> Answer I'm my okay garbage. I mean, I guess it's the same amount of damage regardless. Answer my garbage. Oh, wow. It's actually like a good Spirit of Arcane activation. Huh. Well, too bad it doesn't matter. We're just going to walk past it. Um, yeah, how about we just play land and not... Like, we're just out racing our opponent. I mean, I guess we could play, like, Scuttling Death. I could play <laughs> Thief of Hope. Or Thief. Yeah. I'm going to play one card a turn, because that's what you do in Saviors of Kamigawa Land. And I want to show off how dumb Saviors of Kamigawa Land is. Alright, alright. I see what's going on here. <laughs> Answer my idiot or lose. <laughs> that guy is silly. Yeah, it's the reason I picked him. I mean, three mana, four threes with fear are pretty good in a format where mm -hmm. you have to spend at least seven mana to get that otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> right, three mana four threes with fear really beat out six mana two twos with fear. I don't know why. It's, it's, it's just something about them. They're just better. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh boy. Iron. Okay. Oh, and Waxman Baku, which is um actually terrible. So this is oh, the best. It gives a counter, I guess. That's the best Baku. <laughs> Okay. All right. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Um. All right. Time to move to Plan B. We are losing this game handily. Um, Fine. <laughs> we can hit him for another four, and then just play like every spirit. He's not even going to let me attack. The Deathmask Nazubi will never attack again. That's how Waxbane Baku works. Oh. Yeah. I see. I see. I, our, I, I guess, I, guess I, I, I didn't make that one explicit. Yeah. <laughs> you, you don't beat that card, by the way. That's not actually how it works. Um, <laughs> I see our issue at this point. Because he's going to play more Spirit and Arcane spells, which are going to put more counters on his Briar and Kami, and also going to tap all of our blockers. Our anyway, has a good deck. Uh, yeah. Uh, so we need to draw a kill spell. Yes, we need Rent Spirit. Hirobi would do it. Hirobi's Whisper would also do it. Yes. Or uh, <laughs> heck, at this point, Kagamaro's Clutch would still do it. Though Brian Kami is about to move outside of the. So my back, my backup plan is to try to use Sheenan of Life's Roar as a. Uh, lure to, to win the game. I could do it. <laughs> Good. 
L- lure does that. Yeah, that, that's kind of what a lure is designed to do. Don't know what our oh, plan's yeah. doing. If, yeah. Uh, yeah, I suppose we get Scuttling Death in the Fork branch <laughs> out. And... Oh, also, our opponent can just gain four life at instant speed, so, like, you know, we, we need to keep <laughs> that in mind. I guess they gain five no. if they sack them. We get ruined. We need to... That's fine. Now we just need to get the board into, like, a board stall scenario. On the upside, like, we can make some chump blocks here because we do have the fork. Right, like I can I can block with Sheena and with Life's Roar, like right now, not take five, and then I can block like with I don't want to block with Thief of Hope because I tr- want to try and get as many Thief of Hope activations as possible. I agree. If if possible, um, that Burn Akami is going to be incredibly powerful because I just assume that they've got like two or three more Spirit cards in their hand. I hope not, but yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. I wonder if he's gonna burn him just to like get through. I kind of doubt it. But... No, he even put the counter on the Zubera. Did he just double block the Zubera. That like wastes the Thief of Hope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm aware. <laughs> no, I don't or, think so. Oh, yeah. mm. it's a tough decision. Okay, I've got a really dumb chain for it. So sure. So here's the dumb chain. It's kind of dumb. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna use scuttling death to get back. Thief of Hope to get back Sheena of Life's Roar. All these will die, and then I'll use Fort Branch Garami to get back Thief of Hope and Sheena of Life's Roar. And then I'll use Thief of Hope to get back Sheena of Life's Roar. <laughs> In that order. In that order. Assuming we're not dead. Yeah, hopefully that doesn't happen. Because, <laughs> you know, this is still, like, here. So, yeah, whatever. We should have the Life's Roar. Sink or okay, that's fine because that's actually like a gives me a six mana turn. Yeah. Also, like jumps really well. <laughs> mhm. So scrolling death. Now, if he doesn't have another spirit, it makes it so his 5-5 five, five can't block. Or, wait, no, he can't do damage on the can't stack. Can't do damage on the stack anymore. Uh, <laughs> yeah, doesn't work that way. The well, other, the I other mean, problem... I think we still would probably just double block and make that happen, though. Yeah. At this point, I'm likely to block with Scuttling Death and Sheena of Life's Roar to try... Honestly, I'd try to kill the Briar Nick Kami in any way I can at this point, is my, yeah. is my attempt. Yeah. Also, this card's like much is like fine. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's a three-three. Honestly, I'll probably swing with just that. I would take because I think that's the worst for us. I would take the block. Like I, I think, yeah, we we would need to, but I it, it it simplifies our board. Also, our opponent has four cards in hand. Yeah, so that's... do we, but two of ours are land. Yeah. Technically, we have, like, a thousand cards in hand, because we're just going to keep doing, like, dumb loops for, like, six years, but whatever. <laughs> it's going to keep us alive, all right? We're just going to loop for seven years, and then it'll be okay, and I'll find some way to get enough damage on the board so Sheena and Elias Roar wins a game. That's basically my game plan. <laughs> I mean... It's, it's tough when they have Myron. Yeah, I know. I'm aware of that. <laughs> Especially because they are like Myron to set Tori Watchword to pick up Zubra and then play Zubra. Oh, I'm boy. assuming they have some sort of trick, but I think we have to play to our out. Alright, how bad's your trick? 
God, that's asking you to get ruined. I mean, that just he just kills all of them anyway without a pump. He needs a pump to do that. Uh, how bad is that? Charge. I lose my board. Show me your dumb trick. <laughs> just, just do it. I'm aware of that. I... <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have it. Basically, like, this doesn't function. Because that only does five damage, and there's no goddamn way this is only a 5-5. Five, five. Four cards in hand, I don't believe you. My hope is just that his trick can't bring it above seven. Well, if he's changing the the block order, that means he doesn't have a trick. Maybe. Or it means he likes messing with the block order. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> He's going to play, like, an arcane spell to give it plus one. Ah, first strike. Oh, oh we're just... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh... That's a, that is a trick. That That is, in fact, what I said, a trick. Luckily, it actually leaves alive my desk mask, so... Sure, whatever. Uh, hooray! <laughs> All right, so soul shift. Give me back my thief of hope. <laughs> Our graveyard in hand. Our one in the same. <laughs> Basically, and then I hit you back for two damage. Nice. Doesn't function. Got him. <laughs> and then my opponent goes ahead and like plays like a bunch of other cards again. Oh boy, more uh, in more spirits. All right. What if we just play 15 Spirits with Thief of Hope out? I'm really liking that they played a 5-mana 2-1. <sighs> Except for that they, like, this card just lets them actually, like, fix the fact that all their creatures blow. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> That's the trick. It just errata's all their cards to not suck. Um, and we get to draw land, so we got that going for us. Alright, so let's go ahead and play some cards. Aha, yeah, gotcha. power of tricks. Gotcha. <laughs> just, just fourteen more spirits, and we've got them. Mm -hmm. Actually, we don't because he'll just like sack his board. And... Yeah, yes. Not that it needs. Not that they need to. All right, new plan. Let's run our opponent's clock out. <laughs> I also don't believe that's a viable plan here. I, uh... I, I don't believe in that one either. <laughs> <laughs> new plan let's uh see what cards are in our opponent's deck and then we can beat him in game two uh, well we're gonna find out another big spell here looks like Miogen of white oh, it is <laughs> Jesus. i love being right <laughs> all right so what does this one do wrath oh okay I'm, i love being right like that i'm so happy about can, can... Can we take it? Can we take it in wrath? <laughs> oh god, yeah, wouldn't that own if we actually had like the ability to swap the boards with our opponent and then we just wrath? It doesn't kill <laughs> itself, by the way. Um, he actually might choose to wrath based on where he's regenerating. Huh. <laughs> so he's not going to. Anyway... <laughs> I'm going to take a lot of damage and die. <laughs> you are correct. Rest in at least a thousand pieces. Get blocked. He's been officially blocked. All right, check this out. Okay, good. Hmm, three counters on Waxmane, Baku. <laughs> and I we control and how, and how many creatures do I control? Mm, 
I wonder what's gonna happen on my opponent's turn. <laughs> right, well, we can get another. I want to see another bomb out of my opponent. Right. So, so, so we're at nine. We're dead. This and, is. And, this and, is. And they have seventeen power. Yes. I do have soul I... shift four, soul shift four. Yeah. Oh, oh, all those counters is made out of wax made, Baku. What's happening? <laughs> I bet he just wanted to remove all the counters before he sacked it to gain some life. So not only does this card, like, you know, tap a billion blockers, but it's also like a Grey Ogre in the land of, like, really shitty creatures. So it's really yeah. good. Anyway, our opponent showed us a card we didn't need to see. So, so how come that can be a card, but our two our two twos with fear have to be six mana? Uh, welcome to the welcome to the set. All right, so um, how do we want to do this? Hope that they don't draw that elemental. Yeah, but more in a realistic sense. Like, how do I want to take Mark of the Oni so that we could take his wrath? <laughs> <laughs> That's just <laughs> stupid enough to work. <laughs> um, that's horrible. I love it. <laughs> it's about the only thing I see. Um... Oh, yep, you're right, Peach. You know, I'd be okay if they just remove Soul Shift. I mean, that's fine. <laughs> the card exists. There's actually a 2-mana two 2-1 two with Fear in the set, so... I do not want to cut Death Denied. Yeah, I don't like that either. I really don't. Uh, how do I... How do I get around this? All right, actually, how many soul shift things do we have about a thousand why then do we need death denied sure whatever <laughs> as much as i like that card as well like we're not gonna use it oh boy all right guess who's not gonna have a hand hello <laughs> <laughs> sinking to get the hell out of here <laughs> <laughs> also, I've got Mark of the Oni. This one's over. <laughs> I'm going to ditch your entire goddamn hand. <laughs> I'm very Hopefully, happy. we'll have the board at that point. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Give me more swamps. <laughs> Let me sink into Takanuma, my opponent, a ton. Yeah, no, no, no. Give me the freaking the, 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 the fear guy. Oh, <laughs> so I can bounce all oh, my man, swamps. Be sick. Yeah, give me the fear guy, and then I can bounce all my swamps and win. That's basically also, the... also that would give us a three drop, which would be pretty nice too. Right, we go two, three, four, and then our opponent disappears because they don't have a hand. <laughs> also, I've got my anti wrath tech, so we're good. <laughs> They'll never see it coming. Mm -hmm. I mean, I wouldn't. <laughs> All right. Oh, the other thing about the, the cards in hand mechanic, it makes mulligans a death sentence. Sure. Oh, yeah. It, it really does. <laughs> That's also a thing. It makes mulligans just like, oh, I lose, because now I can't actually have enough cards in hand for this to function. Rip it oh, up, that was... Hey, we win. <laughs> I mean, probably not, but... <laughs> All right, go to four. Go to four cards. Play a land in a three drop, and I will discard your hand. Just do it. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, it's, it's, it's yeah. still happening. <laughs> Screw it. <laughs> Get out of here with your garbage. <laughs> Give me the swamp. Give me that swamp. Give me that swamp. Give me that swamp. Get your hand out of here. Nobody likes it. <laughs> C 
so in a dumb as hell way oh my god you can just, you can just call me a <laughs> that'll work as a three mana removal spell <laughs> too bad that's three turns off oh I discarded three lands and a useless pump spell alright moving along Yay! <laughs> I'm cool with him discarding his last card. Yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he I is thought. not okay. With that's it. what I thought. Okay. No, we have the kill spell for it. We can just take some damage. <laughs> Alright, final card. Nothing. <laughs> no, they, they were oh, combat. he was in combat. A card that dies to Kagamaro's clutch. Got him. So he has to play whatever he drew before combat. Right, but it's Briar and Kami, so <laughs> our opponent doesn't care. Also, the Zubra is now worthless because that's how this functions. Yep. That's okay. We have kill spells in hand. Do I want to? I don't think I. I still don't think I actually want to trade with that. We, we can kill her next turn. We have the mark for it. Yeah. And discard a card. Yep. Nut. Get him. <laughs> this is the dumbest. <laughs> yeah, we need to draw another removal spell, yes. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> we have two of them, though. We have two of them we can still draw. We have more than that. We have another Kargamaro's Clutch and a Rend Spirit and a Hirobi's Whisper. Oh, okay. I forgot about the other Clutch. Yeah. Looks like we're taking seven. Yeah. Also, that means our opponent didn't draw a Spirit or Arcane yes. card. Huh. So what do I want to kill? Um, I think it's actually this bigger one. I, I also think it is as well. Like, mostly because, like, even if he draws one next turn, it just turns into the one we just killed. Mm -hmm. And I am not blocking, so... <laughs> Get there! <laughs> Might be blocking next turn. Just for the... Yeah. Oh, also because it's a 2-1 for a striker for 3. Oh, yeah. Also that. But we can Hanukkah that. Well, the Hanukkah takes a long-ass time to function. Oh. Like a, like a long-ass time mm -hmm. to function. Okay. Uh, we need other cards to not, like, lose. Because at this point we're losing uh, pretty heavily, actually. Yeah. Because we drew, like, six lands following the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, we need a way to kill Briar Kami. That's what it comes down to. Mm-hmm. Also, my favorite part about that... <sighs> yeah, he's just gonna keep... Drawing spirits. Okay. And he put it outside of my double block range. Alright, so we need Hirobi or uh, Ren Spirit. 
I'm actually pretty certain that there isn't a top deck that wins us this game, but... Yeah. Because, like, I trump there, I go to... Actually, I, I actually can't make that trump even. I think this is just over. There's we, no, well, because like we it, can't, I I need to draw running removal spells. It doesn't even do it. Our, our removal just isn't efficient enough to keep up. Well, it is. It's just we can't draw more than a like. We can only draw one removal spell. <laughs> like <laughs> I can't draw three cards. Right. Well, that's what I mean. Like our, ours aren't gonna two for one him. Right. <laughs> Yeah, that gives us chump blockers for a while. It, it does. <laughs> Playing the land is a mistake. Yeah, because we need the cards in hand if uh, we draw yep. our other kill spell. Sure, that's... Yeah, whatever. That doesn't matter right now. That's a non-card in my eyes. I hope he swings all out. <laughs> I don't. Oh. <laughs> um, we could... Well, I'm just thinking like, we could double block the 3-2, put the 1-2 on the 4-4, four, four, and we at least kill something. Oh, never mind. Literally none of that. We could happens. triple block it and die. Yes. <laughs> Literally none of that happens. Um, the only thing I could do would be to make a mistake. Uh, yeah, it's got to be like this, and then... We could not block the 2-5, but that's about the only thing I can see. This can gain flying on a Spirit or Arcane spell. Oh, alright. Let's block it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, um, so we get... We get two tokens. We do. We get to discard two cards out of our opponent's hand. Got him. We have three blockers. We did it. Yeah, we we got crushed by a much more consistent deck playing an absolutely awful square. Yeah. Basically, our opponent's deck is very heavily built around the Spirit of Arcane triggers, and their Spirit of Arcane, Arcane triggers are actually good. Uh, right. Is the biggest trick. And they can fly over. Mm -hmm. By the way, it's a, like they can uh, attack me for three flying right now. So yeah. I, I can't stop that. So I'm not dead here, but I'm quite obviously actually dead um... our only way out is if they play Meogen and we still had our mark of the Oni <laughs> we still lose to that it doesn't kill itself okay there aren't outs here and I've been that's that's what I've been saying got it nice my card we <laughs> wanted a while back uh, All right. um, I do have this though Oh, style points. <laughs> uh. Oh, that just puts the counter on it. <laughs> Why did it make you target yourself? I should be dead. <laughs> Why didn't that work? I've been... Uh, <laughs> I've been robbed of even my own... Can we can we get a, a refund? I've been, because, I've, because I've like, been, I've like been robbed of even my own shooting myself in the face. This is... <laughs> I, have, I have been robbed on this day. <laughs> I... Okay, alright. 
By the way, don't play Hankyu. <laughs> <laughs> I would not recommend playing this card if it doesn't function, by the way. That's, that's pretty good. But nah, this, this was good. Uh, mostly because I got to show off a couple silly things with the sink. Yeah. I'm dead. Yeah, but However, like a lot. <laughs> but I can, tell you, I can kill your goddamn garbage squire. Actually, I can't because I'll take first strike damage. <laughs> All right. Anyway. <laughs> we can't have anything go our way. No, that get... we, didn't get, we didn't get to play Amori. <laughs> that was, that was uh... sad. Yeah, um, I also guess I got to, to show off a public service announcement of Honk You as a bugged card. That's actually really sad because I like this thing. I I doubt they'll give us a refund on the draft because we couldn't kill ourselves. <laughs> they will probably want to know about that. Yeah. Because bug reports, so I will likely at least let them know that that occurred, even though there's literally nobody else in the world who's going to play this card. <laughs> I don't think it like it, it's playable in draft. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was Kamigawa. That was Kamigawa. Um, yeah. You still up for things? Yeah, I'm up for it. That was too quick. Okay. I'm going to quick flicker the stream. We'll be back. Okay. We'll be back in a moment. <laughs>